So we just got through talking for what about ten minutes, and we weren't yeah. even recording. <laughs> so, oh but boy. we were talking about. There's everybody is all expats are all arms up in there and worried about what's going on in Ecuador right now. And I know there are people that are leaving, but there are people that have been leaving for other reasons other than the state of emergency, the power outages, and all the stuff that's going on here right now. There are people that are leaving because they want to explore other areas. They, yes. they mm -hmm. people have left Monte and gone to to Cuenca, but we also have some friends that have left Monte and we've gone to Panama City. Argentina, back toward Mexico, you know. But when you look at all the posts on Facebook, there's kind of mixed emotions about this this crisis that's going, this, I'm gonna put in air quotes, this crisis that's going on because of the power outages. Last year, we had power outages that were an hour and a half long. They were planned, they were scheduled. Everybody could look up and see what the schedule was for their time, their area, and so forth. But this year, it's like, surprise! And it's four hours at a pop. Yeah, it's, and some it's places surprising. More. It is surprising. Yeah. yeah, and the president supposedly, you know, said, there's not going to be any more. And now the president's claiming there is sabotage and corruption within the Ministry of Energy, and they fired the, the, the Minister of Energy and a lot of his staff. So, but now you're an Ecuadorian. You've been here most of your life. I mean, have you, have you has this happened before? It happened. Yes, it happened in the eighties. In the eighties. For how long? How long did it last? It it comes and goes, especially in the hot 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 weather. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we need rain. Yeah, we need rain. El Nino yes. is not our friend this year. No. Mm -mm. We need lots of rain. Yes. But some people I've heard on the street, some people are claiming they're screaming politics, politics. It's all political. You know, it's mixed. retribution for what we did with the Mexico embassy and no. so forth. And the fact that we're fighting the cartel. And yeah. So what do you yeah, think is going to happen? How long, you, I know you told me that this is the, the it's going to happen during this weekend. I mean, right now, this is election weekend. Yes. Yeah. And Sunday. Sunday, yeah. This yeah. change some laws and stuff. It's not about electing officials. No, no, it's no. It's all about no. changing laws. Changing some laws, right. right. Yes, so and adding some other on laws. Your, in your opinion, mm -hmm. based on your experiences living here most of your life, how long do you think this might last? Because the outages are twice a day. It's eight hours a day. No, This is not going to, to me, I think it's going to end at the end of the month. Mm. Yeah, it's not going to be for a long time. But you're not predicting that. You're no. just saying, I'm just thinking, you're just speculating. Yes, yes, I'm could. speculating. Yes, I am. Yeah. yeah. So what's happening to, I mean, everybody knows that you're in the rental business and you rent apartments. It's been slow, hasn't it? It's been slow. Yes, it has been slow. And I have a couple of uh, clients that ask me if I have a uh, real estate agent in Quito or in Cuenca because they're going uh, to explore and see if they can stay in Quito or Cuenca. Some of them usually, what they, it's the hot weather that mm -hmm. they don't like. It's so hot. This year's been the hottest in many years, yeah. in many years. But and again, some of it's them, so easy for us to say, but yeah. this, we have El Nino this year. This yeah. year is an El Nino year. But I know... <clears throat> I, what little bit I know about meteorology and weather, I know that there is a major shift in the jet stream in North America, and in my opinion, El Nino is on its way out. Colombia okay. is suffering also. Yeah, Colombia, all South America, mm -hmm. especially around the Ecuadorian region. Yes. The, not Equ equatorial region, and we all we all we all know that. So, and then now there's. Hundreds of apartments being built. Yes. And condos. It, it, yes, and it's, I, it's hey, people, I've been here, I've been here for such a long, long time, and I've also been working in this for a long time. So people just come and go, come and go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know it's going to be, it's, it's going to get okay later on. Mm -hmm. By the end of the year, 
everybody's coming back here and new people. I'm not worried mm -hmm. at all. That's just like the Paro that we had two years ago. I remember yeah. that was yeah. my first deal, you know, that I thought, oh my God, I got to get out of here because we, there was no fruits and vegetables and meat in the but it was a couple of days, that's it. I know. Well, but see, I didn't yeah. know that. I, we know, used to. Going yeah. into the yeah. week. We're used to. Yeah, used to. <laughs> yeah, we don't worry about it. Yeah. So what do you say to the American expat that wants to come here for retirement? Yeah. Well, just come. Get here. Everything shall pass and it's going to be fine. Yeah. We have beautiful apartments here. Mm -hmm. Prices are great. So, are the prices going back down? I know that some people are, are lowering their prices. For the rent, yes. For the rent, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be okay. Promise. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I promise it's going to be okay. Yeah. I, like I say, people come and go. I have some people that are calling me now and they say, I'm coming in December, someone coming in January 2025. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be okay. All right. Don't worry about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. You heard it here. Stella Coulter. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't work out, mm -hmm. I had nothing to do with it. No, it's going to work out. If it doesn't work out, bite him. If I didn't think it was going to work out, I wouldn't be here right now. If it, if it doesn't work out, bite him. Bite him, yeah. <laughs> if it doesn't work out, bite me. <laughs> Um, everybody knows that I just got back from the States after two and a half months, almost three months, and I actually missed the place. There was a lot that I missed, you know, and I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that it's so damn expensive to be in the United States right now. I didn't see any of the chaos that people talk to us about because it's only, it, one of the things that happens a lot is mm. that people come here and turn right around and start bashing North America. Yeah. And these are ex these are Americans, yeah. you know? And so, and then, but you know, and then, then they're here for a while and then, you know, it slows down. But I, I, my only complaint about the whole time that I was in Mesa was just the cost of food. The yes. cost of eating out and buying groceries. My, my uh, daughter- in housing. My daughter-in-law, she's in Canada right mm -hmm. now, and she said she was going to buy an avocado, mm -hmm. four dollars one avocado, <laughs> and here you buy four for one dollar. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I saw a doctor yesterday. Another doctor. People know that I promote Dr. Garcia, but I went to see a different doctor. Because it's a male doctor, and I wanted to see a male doctor because I want to talk about male things, you know. And so I went and saw him, and I was so impressed by this guy, Dr. Ramon. I'm going to put a link to it. Uh, uh, What's his surname? It's Ramon Rod... Rodriguez? No, no. It's a, well, I was going to look it up on my phone. but Yeah. I'll put it in the description, but he's, he's Mark Bradbury's doctor. He's an English-speaking. He's actually from Venezuela. And he has an office here in the Monta Hospital Center. Very nice, super clean, super clean hospital. And he speaks English. English, speaks excellent English. His wife is a pediatrician. But he went over me from head to toe, checking me out. And he That's good. helped me diagnose uh, this problem I've been having with my swollen tonsils. And I don't think we're going to get to the bottom of it, you know, but... And the best part is he only charged me 40 bucks. I was there for two hours. In his office? In his office. A very nice office. You know, 40 bucks. And he's going to, and, he, and he gave me explicit instructions on what to do, you know, to, like, in regards to my blood pressure. So how long you were in his office? At least two hours. Two hours? Yeah. My point was at 2.30. Yeah. And it was... Well, maybe it wasn't quite two hours. It was about, I got home like right when the power's come back on, so that was four. Wow. So 2.30 to four, minus the time to take to get there, but it's, he went through my whole history. That's good. He checked everything, you know. In the States. Even my, even my parents, you know. In, in, in the States, the doctor's only 10 minutes, I think. 
sense. Yeah, he too. listened to me. He took his stethoscope. He listened to me breathing, my heart, and everything. He just he really thoroughly checked me out. So I was very happy with that. But you know, when I the way I deal with this power problem is, I'm I'm you know I'm, I'm like somebody said. Um, I, I never, I, I met a man who didn't have any shoes. Yeah. Uh, and then, and, and, oh no, he didn't have legs. Yeah, or he didn't have any feet or something. Yeah. I can't, now I can't remember the quote, but it's, yeah. you know, it's like, I mean, there's a lot more to complain about, even than this power outage, you know, there's a lot more to complain about. And I've, I've seen some posts here on Facebook lately from people that are just bashing this place. And yet, it's really not any different today than it was three years ago when I came here. And all of these things that have happened have passed. My favorite expression, this too shall pass. Yeah, it, it will. Yeah. And it's always pass. It's always some kind of emergency, but it will pass. Like you said that in the, um, in the paro, you got scared because the shells... Yeah, but, I've worked you know, about it's, running it's, out of food. Well, we bought some and we ha save it at home. But yeah. it's more scary, some videos that I've seen or on the news in New York where kids go and running inside the, the um, stores, stores and they just take everything. That's really scary. Mm -hmm. We don't have that here. No, that doesn't happen here. No. I don't care how bad it gets. And they're, they're, they're in the States. They're not doing that because... The country is going broke, or everybody's starving to death. They're just doing it because they're lawless and they're they're out of control kids, and they need to be locked up, eliminated from society, in my opinion. But maybe that's a little harsh. But yeah. That's the way I feel about it. You know, was when I was a kid, I never would never would have thought of doing something like that. So what else is news? Any anything else is important to talk about? Well, I in May. It's supposed to be, it should be windy, it should be much better. Yeah, so we start, May is starts the winter season here, right? Yes, yeah. yes. But it's yes. not the rainy season. And the best months here that we have, it's uh, June, July, August, yeah. September, mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah. And the weather is just perfect. Yeah. And the water in the, the, at the beach, in the ocean is so warm the whole year around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love to swim in the ocean. Yeah. It's I remember cold. when I came here in May, three years ago, I can remember in June having to put on a, a my little fleece mm -hmm. to go That's out. That's in October. Yeah. Sometimes. In October, no, November. No, this was last June. That's it June? was cold. Yeah. And just go down to uh, the burger joint. I had to put my little jacket on. It, 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 you don't have to have your air conditioner at all. Well, that's because you're older. Older people get cold. <laughs> Old. So I'm old. Oh my lord. All right, so yeah. I'm just gonna tell everybody just chill out and relax and don't worry about all this crap that's like going say, on. Like you say, everything shall your pass. Plans. Yeah, this will yeah. pass. Yeah. Don't change your plans. I, I, I have confidence in no boy, and I think he's going to do the right thing. But one of you are the one of the persons that worry more than some other people. Me? Yeah. Worry. You always, oh my God, I don't want to walk. No, it's I walk all over town. I am all over uh, Manta, everywhere. I'm not afraid at all. And I'm by myself sometimes, most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing um, that people can do is listen to social media. Oh, yes. My God. Listen to Don Shader and Stella Coulter. Yes. All right. Of course. That's Everything's going to be there. good. All right. Say bye, Stella. <laughs> bye. You're supposed to say bye, Stella. I'm supposed to say yeah. bye, Stella. Yeah, say bye, Stella. Bye, Stella. There you go. <laughs> Why? Because I said say bye, Stella. Say bye, Stella. No, you say bye, Stella. Bye. Uh, bye. Bye, Stella. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> All right. Uh, this, we've got two more hours. We're sitting in a friend's apartment on the 11th floor. 
looking out over the ocean. Beautiful. Yeah. Maybe right. you can show them um, show them how it looks. Show them the view. Yeah. I wish the sun was shining. It's kind of overcast. But this is a beautiful apartment. Yeah. And it's for rent. It is for that yes. is right. Yeah, this one is for rent. It has three bedrooms. Do you only fully have fully furnished? Fully furnished. You only have to bring it your suitcase, your toothbrush. Your toothbrush and and clothes, that's it. Yeah. Everything is in here. And the view is gorgeous. So if Beautiful. anybody wants to know about it, they can just send you an email. Sure. I'll put your email address mm -hmm. in the description. All right. Yeah. All right. And it is one of the newest or the newest uh building. Yeah, it's here in Riva de Mari. In Riva de Mari, yes. Yeah. Of course. All right. Say bye, Stella. Bye, Stella. <laughs> All right. So this is the view out the. This is the 11th floor, right? Yeah, 11th floor. And there's the port in the city. There's where we were just working and did the video, and there is the kitchen. What's the square footage of this place? Do you know? Stella? Do you know what the square footage is? It's a three bedroom, right? Yes. Three bedroom, okay. Three bedroom, three bath. It's really nicely furnished. That's the front door right there. Of course, there's a guest bathroom right there. This is the first guest bedroom. Has its own bath on TV. Has a view out the back across the green belt. Dirty windows. All that's on the outside. And, and of course the master bedroom is back. I guess I could tuck my keys in my pocket so it would make all that noise. And all right, so here's the master bedroom. Yeah, and they say we're in a drop, but look how green it is. <laughs> that railing right there is part of the lift system that's here that people can use to move their furniture into the building. I wonder if that'll go away at some point. Master, master bath. This is the second bedroom. Got a queen size bed, got their own bath in here too. And that's it. It's here at Riva de Mai. Riva de Mai. Is that it? Hi. Say, say goodbye, Stella. Goodbye, Stella. <laughs>